Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Sarah Palmira and I love chatting about skincare, makeup, and all things beauty. I hope you had a really good holiday season. I'm back at it to tell you about my favorite water-based cleansers. These are cleansers that you can use in the morning or you can use as your second step in the evening after using your oil-based cleanser. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you like this series. And like each of my skincare reviews, I'm gonna be taking you through the pros and cons of each cleanser and who I would recommend it to. So without further ado, let's get into the video right now. All right, so first up, we have the Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser. Now, this is a super affordable cleanser that you can pick up at pretty much any drugstore, and it's what I consistently reach for when my skin feels irritated or sensitive. This cleanser, does nothing but in the best way possible. So for me personally, I usually don't choose my cleanser as my treatment step. It's maybe a maintenance step. Now that being said, if you get the cleansing step wrong, that can cause a lot of havoc and create a lot of skin issues down the line. But I don't necessarily believe that a wash off product is going to actually treat my skin conditions. So I really like that this is gentle. I really like that it doesn't do anything. It's pH balanced, which is really important to me. It doesn't feel stripping. And it lathers really well. It also doesn't sting my eye area, which is really key for me because I have sensitive eyes and I want to be able to take my cleanser anywhere and not worry about it. But I also really like that this is free of dyes, parabens, fragrance, formaldehyde, lanolin. So it's really just very simple. I think if you are rosacea prone, eczema prone, you have maybe atopic dermatitis, or maybe you have acne and you want your cleansing step to just be really simple, and you wanna know that your cleanser isn't causing any issues in your routine, this would be something that I would reach for and I would recommend to you. If you're using other treatment steps that are kind of intense, like a retinol or an adapalene, again, this is a really good cleanser to reach for because you know it's not gonna necessarily interact with any of those actives. So that's why I love it. It's kind of like that bare bones cleanser that you don't necessarily, you're not like attracted to because it's not flashy, but it's something that's a staple and you just kind of need to have on hand. So I highly, highly recommend this one. And that's why it's one of my faves. Next up, we have the Naturium Niacinamide Cleansing Gelay 3%. Now this cleanser is a bit more pricey, quite a bit more pricey than the Vanna Cream one, but it's very, very different. So this cleanser, I would say really performs like a high-end cleanser, but not for a super steep price point. It has niacinamide at 3%, and that is a low percentage that is just gonna help take down any redness, any inflammation. It'll also help balance your oil production, and it will strengthen your skin barrier over time. This cleanser is also pH balanced, and Naturium actually lists the pH of all of their products online, which I really, really appreciate. And it also contains hyaluronic acid for just really keeping that skin hydrated and vitamin C for brightening. As you can see, it has quite an interesting texture and you can see it has these little gel particles in here. I also found that this cleanser lathered very well. It didn't sting the eye area and it did a pretty good job of removing kind of dirt, sunscreen and makeup. So if you wear light makeup, you could get away with using this as your first and only cleanse. It also really left my skin feeling refreshed, nourished and hydrated. So again, if you want a higher end cleanser without breaking the bank, I would definitely go for this one. And I think this would be a good cleanser for all skin types. So overall, really loving this cleanser. Another cleanser that I've absolutely been loving is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser by Crave Beauty. This has a much richer texture and it also foams up a little bit, but it feels a little softer on the skin. And I definitely think this is made for irritated, sensitive, or drier skin. Although I know quite a few people who are oily and acne prone who absolutely love this cleanser. I would say the texture of it is very rich and smooth. And as soon as you apply water, it rinses really easily and it leaves my skin feeling more hydrated than before. Before I cleansed it. So I really, really love that aspect to it. As far as the ingredients go, it has really, really solid ingredients. It contains oats, which are very anti-inflammatory. Overall, just a really sophisticated ingredient list for a lower price point, which I'm really, really impressed by. I also really love that this is, again, pH balanced. It even has the pH on the back of the bottle. It tells you it has a pH of 5.5 to 6, which is absolutely ideal. And so overall here we have humectants, antioxidants and hydrators in this formula. So I would say it's really ideal for anyone who just wants a cleanser that is not gonna strip their skin 
and is going to make them feel really, really good afterwards. I love this cleanser when I'm feeling a little bit more dry. I would say this is definitely more appropriate for people who often get drier after cleansing than say the Naturium, but both of them are very, very non-stripping and very gentle. Crave Beauty's entire line, I would highly recommend for those of you who are just kind of confused by skincare and you want something that's going to help your skin feel really, really good and balanced, but you don't know where to start, their Press Reset three-step routine has some really solid products in there that shouldn't be irritating to any kind of skin type. So again, highly recommend this cleanser and it takes the cake for one of my favorite cleansers of 2020. Next up, we have Bomb Labs Clear Bomb Cleansing Foam. Now, I would say that this is the first foam cleanser that I really fell in love with this year. I definitely used to be in the category of people who would kind of cringe when I heard the word foaming because I associated the word foaming with drying. And I've since learned that that is not true and it really just depends on the formula of the product and the ingredients. So Bomb Labs is actually a line that targets acne. And when they reached out to me a long time ago asking me if they could send me their three-step system, I was like, well, I don't have acne. I actually have really sensitive skin. I don't think this would be a good fit because I don't wanna try anything to irritate my skin. And they said, no, 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 we totally recommend that you try our line because not only is it targeted to help acne, but it really just rebalances anyone with inflamed skin, so it would be perfect for you. And I tried it, and I had extremely low expectations, and it really blew me away in terms of how really bright and soft my skin felt. I actually love all of their steps in their three-step line. But this one really stood out to me because it was the first foaming cleanser that made my skin feel amazing. So it has natural AHAs in here that are derived from cane sugar and citrus. And I really, really like that it has that because it's not stripping, but I can tell that it really just leaves my skin super clean. This is the kind of cleanser that you can apply after a first cleanse, and you may not even need to follow up with a toner or an essence because your skin is going to be clean. So my skin felt super duper clean, absolutely no residue to the formula, but it did not feel stripped and it did not feel tight or dry. Now I would say that this AHA complex is really gentle enough to use if you are already using other exfoliation methods or you're using retinol. I would say it's very, very gentle. It also contains Bixa Orellana seed extract, which is an antioxidant that is very, very powerful. It can help refine the look of pores and really just protect the skin from free radicals. I really, really enjoy it. Overall, it has some really good humectants as well and some emollients. It contains glycerin. It lathers really well. It doesn't sting the eyes. I would recommend this to anyone who is maybe inflamed or you have oily skin or acne prone skin and you want something that's going to feel very fresh and your skin is going to feel very awake and very clean afterwards. This definitely gives a clean feel, but I think it's very, very gentle enough to use for daily use, so I absolutely adore it. I use this cleanser mostly when my skin is feeling congested or out of balance. So again, highly recommend this one as well. It is a bit on the pricier side, but I will continue to repurchase it because I really like it that much. Last but certainly not least, we have the Etude House Sunjung Whip cleanser. This is probably my favorite cleanser of 2020, and it's actually the only cleanser that my boyfriend has tried that he said he would actually enjoy using. It's a very rich texture, but it's really foamy upon application, which makes it a really fun product to use, and it's extremely gentle. It makes your skin feel so good and just so nourished and clean that I suspect that that's why my boyfriend liked it so much, and he is not a skincare person. He does not have a skincare routine. We're currently working on that. So for him to say that, I feel like that's all the validation that you need. Just go out and get one. But um, in all seriousness, it has a really good pH of 6.5. I love the ingredient list in here. It's incredibly affordable and it just lathers and removes makeup and dirt and rinses so clean that I just can't think of anyone who would not enjoy this product. It's just an all around good cleanser. It hits all of the marks. It contains panthenol, which is a really great humectant and hydrator. And it also contains matacasicide and camellia 
leaf extract, and both of these are very anti-inflammatory ingredients. They really help take down any irritation, any redness, and keep your skin really balanced. I also like Sunjung's entire line because they're free of a lot of irritants like fragrance and formaldehyde and any of those nasties that you just don't want to see in cleansers, especially if you're very, very, very sensitive. That being said, I don't like to demonize fragrance because I believe that it's the dose that makes the poison, and if fragrance is in a low amount, then actually it's okay with me. I personally am sensitive to to fragrance but only when I feel like it's really in a higher amount in the formula and it dominates a lot of the formula but that being said this is really ideal for anyone who has extremely sensitive skin again it's kind of in the same vein as the Vanna cream cleanser because it doesn't do much but the difference here I would say is that this guy has a few extra hydrating ingredients that to me make it a more sophisticated formula than the Vanna cream cleanser so that's why I'm happy paying a touch more although in some websites I found that it is only $8.99 so it's the same it's a very similar price point to the Vanna cream gentle cleanser it's gonna last you forever I've had this bottle for a long time my boyfriend uses a very healthy amount I would say um, and we are still going strong with this guy so again this probably takes the cake as my favorite cleanser but any of these are absolutely amazing and I highly highly recommend them all right, you guys, that sums up my favorite water-based cleansers of 2020. I hope that this video was helpful. Please comment down below letting me know your favorite water-based cleanser of 2020. I love to just hear your guys' perspective, make a note if there's something really interesting that I haven't heard of. If you like videos like these, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. Be sure to have those notifications on because I will be coming at you with many more favorites videos of 2020 and a lot more skincare. So stay tuned. Wishing you guys a fabulous week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!